welcome back to another YouTube video. Now in today's video, I am going to be moth trapping in Dorset. Now I know a lot of you have been requesting this video and it has finally come and I'm not using my homemade moth trap. I'm actually using a different moth trap and I will give you a quick what it looks like. So now I'm going to teach you a little bit about what days or what, what nights really to set out your moth trap. Now the first thing you want to do is check the weather forecast. It's not a good idea to set out your moth trap while it's raining because the moths, they just don't like it. And last night it was raining so that's a good thing because all the moths would have been hidden away and so tonight it gives them an opportunity to all come out. Also, um, it's better to do warmer lights uh, not warmer lights, warmer night, sorry, and the months are like July, August, not really September, June is also good, um, and so you wouldn't do it in the winter. Um, cloudy nights are quite good because, of course, with the clouds, it acts as like a blanket, and so it makes the night so As you can see, but here is the moth trap when it's turned on, it just looks like that, and then down below there you got a lot of egg boxes. Now I just have to wait until tomorrow when I can go check um, and see what moths I have. I mean like hopefully I'll have like a hawk moth of some sort, so like a lime hawk moth, poplar hawk moth, um, elephant hawk moth. So yeah, but luckily for you guys, you guys don't have to wait any time at all. And I love this trick because now today is tomorrow and I have put out the moth trap last night and I've woken up and I did put this towel over here, over it, but now it's time to see what's there's in there. There's a nice lovely moth there. There are quite a few brimstone moths, which are those yellow moths. And let's see what else. Oh, down there, there is a poplar hawk moth. That's pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. No, that's not another brimstone. There was another brimstone moth somewhere. Oh, there it is. On the side there. Um, okay, so I will remove this light. Okay. Wow, there are actually lots. And just um, in the corner there, that is a yellow underwing, and they are really quite common. Lots of these I don't actually know the name of, so like that one, that one, and that one. Um, okay, so I will... Oh, and look at that white moth. Uh, that's quite cool, I didn't see that. Okay, so let's lift the first box up. Ah, uh, they're all flying away. Oh, wow. We've even got a hornet in here. Okay, so basically all of these are just yellow underwings and that hornet. Now the hawk moth is just there. Let's lift this one up. So many moths are escaping. Oh, what's that big one? Oh, there's just um, another yellow underwing there. So, okay, and there is the hawk moth just there please don't fly away there that is a poplar hawk moth i'm so happy that i got a hawk moth never seen a hawk moth before in my life wow look at that okay so i'm gonna wrap up this video here i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to check out my instagram nifty dot and at nifty dot um so peace out